I first heard about baby desire when I was speaking to a local snake expert by the name of Chawa. I got a call from trauma center and they told me, hey, listen, we've got a child that was bitten on the eyelids, on both eyes, on the eyelids. I'm like, huh? Are you? No, this, this can't be. So I drove out to the hospital, I ran to the car, I looked at the child and for sure, I looked at his eyelids and there were fang marks on his, on, on his eyelids. So I'm looking at this child and I'm like, how can this happen? This is, this is I've never seen this before. It's, this is weird. They put him on the bed and we're looking at him and his eyes are terribly swollen. They're like balloons. I'm like, no, but tell me how this happened. What, where was he? He was sleeping on the bed and we heard him screaming. The first time he cried a little bit. We ran to the bedroom. We didn't see anything. They went back to sleep, right? So a few hours later, the child screamed and they ran to the bedroom and his, his first eye, the, that, the, the other eye was terribly swollen and uh, they were wondering what, what could have happened. Then they said, ah, let's, let's just wait until morning and take him to a clinic, right? So they, in the morning, they, they took him out and his eyes were like balloons. They were really bad. They decided to take out everything from his room and they discovered a spitting cobra in the room. Because, uh, you know, it's a delicate piece of uh, area. It's a delicate area. You can't do much with it. And the only way to neutralize venom like that is antivenom. But unfortunately, the cost of the antivenom, it's a, it was a poor family. They couldn't afford it and they didn't ad administer it. And his eyelids actually fell off. They, did, they were totally destroyed. And right now, the child, it's been almost a year. Uh, his wounds haven't healed. He cannot close his eyes. He can't sleep. He sleeps with his, I mean, he can't close his eyelids, obviously. And he needs surgery. So the only way to do the surgery is to get uh, skin from the back of his ears and to reconstruct his eyelids. And the family is poor, they can't afford it. After hearing this horrific story, myself and a handful of Zimbabweans managed to, to raise enough money to get Desire his skin graft. Although the surgery was a success, Desire still needs a couple more grafts in order for his eyes to close completely. Otherwise, he faces the grim possibility of losing his sight completely. This is why today we are asking you please to donate a little bit of money towards Desire just to ensure that he has some sort of a normal future.